I think that the model that Margaret Thatcher and William Whitelaw put forward all those decades ago has been a great one for Britain. Uh, Channel 4 doesn't, uh, uh, not only does it not cost us any money, but it doesn't make any of its own programs. They're all made by independent production companies. And that has brought to this country one of our most successful industries, the um, independent production television sector. The companies also retain all the copyright in their programs. And so they sell them all around the world and make lots of money. And I noticed in the Daily Mail today that um, Nadine Doris was saying that some of those companies have become very successful and are making lots of money. And I thought that was a very British attitude that we should start criticizing people when they make lots of money. The whole point is that independent production companies based around Britain should make lots of money. And even the news, which people are looking at pictures of now, isn't made by Channel 4, it's made by an independent production company. One of the lines from government there is that uh, it being sort of publicly owned is, is holding the channel back. Do you see any truth in that? I don't see truth in that, no. If the government thinks, and I'm not sure they're right here, <coughs> excuse me, that um, Channel 4 needs to borrow more money in order uh, to flourish, um, the government is able to make the decision to allow it to do that. But I think it, that's based on a misconception. Nadine Doris has talked about Channel 4's need to compete with Netflix and Amazon. You know, uh, they would have to borrow a hell of a lot of money to compete with Netflix and Amazon. And I don't think we should be borrowing lots more money in this country myself. The job of Channel 4 isn't to compete with global players making swanky programs like Bridgerton. It's to make programs about this country made by people in this country from all the nations and regions of this country. And, you know, I've been very pleased to go regularly to Belfast in my time, for example, at Channel 4, to commission programs, award-winning programs from Belfast. Do we really think that some great big new owner is going to commission the small programs from places like Belfast and Glasgow, where Channel 4 commissions programs now? It won't. It will want to make the programs itself to keep the money for itself.